Greetings and welcome. You can already tell this is the Oracle with a new segment that I myself will be doing on my own. No Leo, no Colonus, no Nasir, none of this is my specific part of the game again, and the horror corner as a whole. Today, I debut, well, sort of, The Eternal Grimoire, the book of Mo or better, it's better known around here as the book of monsters, ghosts, and inhuman creatures. This book was gifted to me by the Grim Reaper. I only wanted one to do the where I only wanted it for the werewolf war. Then he gifted me a copy of it. So I figured I'd educate you you lot on the uh on various monsters, ghosts, goblins, ghouls, demons, and other inhuman creatures. And how what their strengths, weaknesses, power sets, the whole nine yards. So, since it's around February, I figured uh, I'd start out with, with Cupid and Cherub. Since Cupid is a type of Cherub, from the, from the way he looks. Now, Cherubs are usually depicted as naked, but Cupid is unique with him having more often not being portrayed with a, with a diaper. He, al he also has a bow and arrow, and most of them do as well. That's usually their weapon of choice. Um... Cupid, however, is that we'll love. He's probably one of the few good monsters in the Book of Monsters. Um, for those of you who don't know who Cupid is, not only is he a symbol of Valentine's Day, but his main power is that he shoots the arrow at, two, at couples to make them fall in love. Um, he is usually depicted as a, a little baby with wearing a diaper, of course, little wings, um, a batch of arrows, his quiver, his quiver and bow and arrow and all that good stuff. All that good stuff. However, cherubs are usually naked. Naked babies depicted as an angelic force. However, I have seen these things as more, well, not really so much, well, inspiring them, they are kind of bad. These kind of look more like demons than cherubs, but they, they do act sort of like cherubs. They go bash as a rule in the day, too. Um, the only other cherubs that I know of where you're supposed to get some in Hell of a Boss is like a a, like a rival to IMP, which makes sense. IMP, cherub, they're, they're polar opposites. Um, but cherub in Hell of a Boss, I think are going to be like, they're not going to be, like, evil, but they're not going to be exactly nice to IMP, to our IMP friends, at all. Um, which makes sense. Um, I, I suppose, I, I really don't consider cherubs angels, really, because these things are not, I don't, now, I could be wrong on this, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure I don't remember seeing cherubs in the Bible. But, that's not the point, that's not the point. The point is, more often than not, these things are usually depicted as good guys. Or at the very least, they're not exactly, they're not evil. But still, approach with extreme caution. These things do have bows and arrows, so if you piss them off, you might be getting a couple of arrows in the chest. Um, these things are usually about two feet tall. Two, three feet, give or take. Um, besides those two, the only other ones that come to mind as far as cherubs or Cupid goes, Cupid's been depicted in a couple of different things from Fairly Odd Parents to the likes of Brandon K. Stein, a book series, which I Glory to go check out. Awesome series. Um, however, guys, however, like even though I said to approach with extreme caution, how you best defeat cherubs if they go rogue? Well, like with most things on here, 
These things will need a specific type of weapon or defense mechanism of some sort. These, your best bet, hit with its own arrow. Usually these things are, that's usually how it works. With some of these more angelic and demonic creatures, you need to hit them with either its opposite in the case of demonic, if they hit it with an angelic weapon. However, with angel creatures, angelic creatures, if you really want to defend yourself against something like this, these things go rogue, your best bet is either pray to the Lord, or if you do happen to have it, get one of their own, own weapons against them. Use one of their own weapons against them. Your only bet. Otherwise, you, you ain't gonna be safe. However, Cupid is probably the only one that I will say is completely good, awesome, awesome character. But, that's just, that's, this is not going to be the norm though. Most of these creatures in the book of monsters, monsters, ghosts, and in human creeps, yeah, the Grim Reaper told me that these things are not going to be nice. Most of them are not going to be nice. Now, werewolves are at the, in the at, are the second monster in the book, with Grim Reaper being of course number one because he's the one that published the book. Uh, super cool. Um, and I will do the Grim Reaper, my boss, at a later date. Sometime I don't know when. Don't ask me when. Still working on that one. However, this segment, as well as in looking back on a full month of what I've acquired for the den will be completely once a month so be sure to check back next month in March so uh, more than likely that'll be at the end of March because I've got a lot of packages coming in more than likely some new stuff coming in and things so uh, super cool um I will do unboxings of those though guys I will do some little mini unboxings um, but hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, hit the bell for notifications. It does help. Be sure to go into the comments and tell me what you think of Cupid or Cherubs. Or if you've never heard of them. Hey, tell me what you think of these things. Um, personally, myself, I think they're kind of odd. Odd little creatures. And Cupid's even odder. Ooh. Um, but hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to look at our other videos, of course, and go back and see our werewolf one. That is going to be the start. The werewolf and wolfman movie reviews. So hopefully I will see you in the next video.